From Quimio Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Industrial garment manufacturer Sweet Oil has opened a showroom near the OR Tambo International Airport in Boxburg, which stocks its utility, essential and special ranges of industrial workwear. Skulkberger has a story. The new showroom caters for the company's walk-in clients and allows Sweet Oil to get close to the end user, thereby giving the manufacturer a better understanding of market requirements. The showroom will allow individual tradesmen and artisans to access the utility, essential and specialised ranges of workwear. It is located close to the industrial areas of Germiston and Dunswart and en route to Malachleni and Middleburg in Mpumalanga. Sweet Ore Executive Director Denver Berman Jacob explains the company's workwear showroom plans. Over the last eight Almost nine decades we've been taking care of the mining industry, although we're very active in, 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 in all the other industries, including petrochemical, construction, you name it. Um, and, and the retail business, although this, this structure is brand new to us and we're very excited about it, um, it's not new to us in the sense that we've always had walk-in customers coming into our businesses, um, either in Johannesburg or Cape Town, buying ones and twos. So the decision was made strategically uh, to, to look at this form of option, uh, to, to tap into a market that we haven't tapped into before. Our range is divided into various areas. We've got a utility range, which is for the everyday worker, um, which is maybe a low risk kind of environment that he faces. Um, and then we've got an essential range of clothing, which is 100% cotton, um, low to medium risk environments. And then we've got a specialized range for medium to high risk environments. And the specialized range consists of a flame retardant, uh, acid repellent, and a flame acid um, garment. As you said, we, we have the standards. We, in fact, we were the first company um, in 1978, 40 years ago, to be awarded the SABS standard for apparel. Um, and we, we, we hold ourselves to a very high standard. The formalized structure around showrooms um, is new to us as a business, uh, but something that we gave a lot of thought um, to. Um, and we're excited about what this allows for us. As you can see, we are on the N12, um, we are on the highway. So from a branding perspective, that is major for us, but um, we also feed a number of the industries that's around, sur surrounding the Boxburg area. Um, but this is also a, a major feeder route uh, to the major mi mining towns that we supply. So, so those are some of the criteria that we look at. Obvious demand, um, accessibility, um, safety, uh, are major factors for us. We will be expanding more branches in, in the Gauteng area. Um, we are looking at KwaZulu Natal, we are looking at Cape Town where we are, are from. Um, so uh, we'd like to roll out a few over the course of the next two to three years. Other news making headlines. More than 650 million rand is budgeted to prepare Gauteng land for expropriation. The Department of Settlements has budgeted more than 650 million rand to prepare identified portions of land in Gauteng for expropriation without compensation. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made um, an announcement recently about how are we going to mitigate uh, for this. And I must indicate that we have allocated 652 million rand um, from this 1819 budget for the acquisition of, um, of land portions that my department uh, um, assigned by cabinet now, um, have completed with regard to the land in the hands of the state. When we came in, we said that there is land in the hands of the state. National government owns land in our province. The department, the Houghton government itself owns land. The Department of Women's Settlement for more than 24 years has been purchasing portions of land in the Houghton province. Municipalities own portions of land in Gauteng Province, Department of Public Works, the Army, Department of Health, Department of Education. Every department has been purchasing land in different degrees for many years. Some of these portions of land were acquired from the previous apartheid system. It too has been purchasing portions of land as it were. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.